Hello! Hello, hello, hello! Oh no, there was an extra hello there. Well, I guess you'll forgive me. And welcome to another Call Time Draft here on the channel. Before I dive in, I do want to remind you that if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment in the comment section down below with your questions or feedback. If you want to catch me streaming live, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Nikolai Bolas. And if you want to support my content, you can do so via the Patreon, patreon.com slash Nikolai Bolas. Okie doke, so what are we working with here? We have King Narfi's Betrayal, which is like a very fancy draw too. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, okay. It's like you mill cards, then you can get creatures, and then you, uh, like, you, the most you're ever getting is two spells out of this, but you get a little bit more, like, selection than normal. I don't think it's that good. Um, I haven't had it played against me, but in my mind, it's not insane. There is a fun little deck that I've seen some streamers playing where they use Gold Vein Pick to, like, splash all these runes. So you take, like, Runes of Might, get Gold Vein Picks late, and then you use the treasure that you get to splash all sorts of stuff. Uh, so Rune of Might could be a pick if we want to try and experiment in that vein. Maja puts me into green-white, which I don't love uh, early on. But the pack overall is pretty bad. This is one of the worst packs I've had. There's a Skull Raid. I think I'm just going to take Rune of Might and then maybe wield the Gold Vein pick and try that out. Seems fun. It's splashable if you're a heavy white deck. I don't think you splash it in most green decks. Well, now there's another equipment. Green White control anyone? We could honestly have just taken Snow Island there. That would have been like a fine pick, I think. Um, in this pack, the best cards are Battershield Warrior. I think this card definitely has some strong synergies. If we had taken Maja, Battleshield Warrior would have been a great follow-up. But as it is, I think Frostbite's fine. Valkyrie Sword's a little bit expensive for what a lot of white decks are trying to do. I do like Death Knell. I like Way Down. But I think we're just going to take the best card, which is Frostbite, I think. I think Battleshield's also good. I'm not really putting too much stock in this. This is just kind of a card that I'm going to have. But that pack wasn't super strong in terms of monocolored cards, so I'm fine just taking a little bit of a signal point here. There's a good white card, there's good red cards, and I'm just going to lock in with this Frostbite. Okay. So pick three. There's a Squash if we wanted to keep up the red train. There is a Tuscary Firewalker, which is a card that I like. I think outside of blue-red and maybe red-green with a couple changelings, Tuscary Firewalker might be better than Squash, but because Squash has the upside of being so good in blue-red and like okay outside of that, it gets a little bit of an edge a lot of the time. Provoke the Trolls, not a card that I am super thrilled to take. It's okay, but not premium. Then there's some black cards. There's Carfil Kennelmaster, Coma's Faithful is okay, though I don't love it, especially because there's a couple of first-striking one-drops that just dumpster this card. Axe Guard Armory can do some sweet things. I think I'm going to take the Firewalker. I want more experience with this card. I think it's really good, and I don't think I've been taking it highly enough. So I think I'm going to take that over the Squash. There's also Volatile Fjord, which goes really well with the Frostbite. But I don't even have a reason to really be Snow yet, so... Oh! Oh, ho, ho. maybe we draft the Runes deck. Rune Terra. Legend of Rune Terra. I don't know. That's, uh... That was just what came to my mind when I thought of the word rune. League of Legends is just taking control of the rune market. But there's Rune of Flight if we wanted to go for the uh, cool rune deck. Maybe something fun to try. There's also Finn the Fangbearer. There's uh, Snowland. I mean, how often am I going to start off with two runes so early in my draft? I don't know. It could be a good opportunity to try out that Gold Vein Pick stratagem. But there's also Feed the Serpent, which I'm probably just going to take because it's a great removal spell. Finn the Fang Bear is okay, but I would like to try Black Red. Finn is really a nice two drop, but Feed the Serpent's a good common. And then there's an Elder Fang Disciple. There's also a Elven Bow. Elven Bow does go well with this Rune of Might, but a Black Red is a nice like color combination. They both seemed open. There's also Dwarven Reinforcements, Demonic Gifts is a good card in black-red. I think Disciple is a card that I've been rating a little bit lower than I should, and Elven Bow is a card that I maybe have been rating a little higher than I should. It is good, don't get me wrong. But I'm going to try going in a different direction. I kind of want to try playing a mid-range deck, and I think black-red is the one deck that can maybe perform that service. 
And now I'm going to take Snow Covered Mountain over Rise of the Draugr. Raise the Draugr, I mean. Raise is good, but I can I don't really have a lot of synergy with it right now in terms of types. They're all kind of all over the place. Not like in black red I would probably end up with types that worked. But I'm gonna take the mountain, because if I get enough snow lands, frostbite gets significantly better. And now there's a demonic gifts. There's also breakneck berserker. There is Raider's Carve. There's also Horizon Seeker. So green is looking open. We've been seeing some good green. This is a green black card that's quite good. I kind of want to take the gifts or the breakneck. I don't love breakneck. It's not inherently very powerful. 3 2 haste is kind of lacking a little bit. So I'm going to take the gifts. And then there's a pick. There's a village rights. There's a funeral longboat. I'm not really playing the gold vein pick type deck, I don't think. Raider's a card that's kind of underperformed for me, but it could be good in a black-red deck. Hmm. Just putting picks on things is also decent sometimes, but I think I'm going to be a gift deck. You don't really want to mix the, the equipments with the combat trick style cards. I think I'm going to take Raider over the car, over the longboat, and the village rights. And we get a pick anyway if we want it. I think we'll take it. Maybe we'll need it for something. Oh my gosh, what a pack. Well, I think we're going to take Death Knell Berserker over Way Down. Pick might make it into the deck if I have this Death Knell Berserker synergy. Way Down is also a card that I really like, but how many two drops do I have? One, two. This card also works with Demonic Gifts. Uh, okay, I think we're going to take the Death Knell, though. Death Knell is huge. Snow Covered Swamp is only good with Frostbite, and so I'm not going to prioritize it. Way down is nice though. I would like the first way down, but I hopefully can get that later. And now Carful Kennel Master came back. Black is le definitely looking open here. I think this card's better than these two. This card just folds to a lot of things in the format, and this card's just weak, so. Good top end card here. Oh, we get a second one, nice. Top end secure. Not that that's ever really something you need to worry about. I just hate Wither Crown. Ooh, raise the dragger. So black is looking wide open. I'm glad we moved in there. Ooh, take it for the ticks. That's what they always say. Um, This pack's a little bit worse. Turgrid Shadow's good, but not necessarily for my type of deck. How many creatures do I have? Six creatures. But Black Red's going to be a creature aggro deck, so I don't really want to prioritize that. Doomscar Titan could be good. But I've been underwhelmed by this card a little bit. I think I could wield Dwarfen Reinforcements, and it could be nice as a way to buff in some creatures. Hmm. Infernal Pet's a card that I want to experiment with, but I don't really have the support for it right now. <sighs> this card's okay with some snow things. I think I'm just going to take the Titan, though I'm not sure if I want it. It's like a to another top end card, kind of like the Kennel Masters, and I already have the Kennel Masters. I'm just going to take the Dwarven Reinforcements. Two bodies, one card. Pretty nice. Wow, Doomscar got passed to me. That's wild. We're just going to take Demon Volt, though. Really nice. Black Green maybe a card that uh, color combo I could have ended up in. I guess I still technically could end up Black Green, but I don't really see the need to move off of the kind of nice synergies I've got. Dwarven Reinforcements is really good with Kennel Master. Got some, it's also good with the... I don't know, I just kind of like the deck that I'm building towards here. I've got enough playables that I'm not really worried about it. And now there's another Dwarven Reinforcements. This deck is really coming together. Oh, that's rough, Leo Dragon, but don't worry, you're here now. This card's super sweet with Kennel Master, so I'm going to try, try to get it going. And now there's a squash. I don't really have any giants. Wow, look at all these white cards. Um, it's between squash and grim and draugr. Um, so I have demon bolt, feed the serpent, and frostbite. Thank you, fertile suck. I appreciate that input. So I think we're just gonna take the grim draugr. Keep keep up in the creature count. It may say that non creatures is higher, but these are also creatures, so we're chilling. I don't prioritize squash. 
as much. And now we get another Tuscary Firewalker. The runes with the Goldwing pick, the strats. But I like the Firewalker. It's nice and simple. Nice and simple. This card's okay, but we're not... One thing, I'm, I'm rather, I'd rather have Demonic Gifts and Run Amux in this deck than Equipments and stuff. And they kind of fill the same role in a deck. Well, White Feels open this pack because it was not open pack one. That's just how draft works. Craven Hulk or Infernal Pet or Village Rights. One Village Rights is probably pretty good. I don't think Infernal Pet's very good in my deck. Craven Hulk plus Kennel Master is really nice. You just bash them for five. Hmm. This card's probably better than Grim Draugr. Hmm. I'm going to take the Craven Hulk. It's just a massive creature. 4-4 four, four is a lot of stats in this format. Yarl or Snow Covered. I'm just going to take the Snow Covered Mountain. It's not likely that I'm going to be able to make Frostbite work, but if there's if I can get three Snowlands, and it also works with Grim Draugr. Yarl's nice, but I already kind of have some four drops that are pretty decent. Mm, yeah, and I could get another Frostbite or something like that. And being able to buff Grim Draugr is nice. Now we get a nice little way down. I did, did want a copy of this. Hey, Ace of Souls. Runed Crown. We we have the we have the synergy. We could have had a bunch of runes and stuff if I'd gone for that deck. We could have had like four different runes or something. Three different runes. But I like where we're at right now. Way down's good. Wow, look at all these black red cards. Every single black red card wield. I guess we take Doomscar Titan now, because we have two dwarven reinforcements. Can you imagine curving Dwarven into Carfell into Doomscar Titan? That's a massive curve. And then Funeral Longboat. Might play it, might not. Dragger Recruiter. Could be a nice grindy element. Or Raider's Carve. We do have a decent number of three powered, eh, not a ton of three powered creatures. I haven't actually played the recruiter. It seems like it could be okay. We'll take the snow land now. Infernal pet. Coming around the mountain when she comes. Wow, look at all this. <laughs> if we had moved into black green, we would have been paid off in spades. Look at this. Planeswalker, Boreal Outrider, Herald, King of Skemfar. Who wants to place a bet on whether, uh, Herald Wheels. I'm probably not going to play the Recruiter, don't worry. I'll take Death Knell Berserker. It's a nice two drop. Works well with this gifts and any buffs that I get from like Doomscar Titan type stuff. Could incentivize me to play a random uh, Tormentor's Helm or something. But there's a nice little two drop. If I wasn't taking that, I'd take Squash. Having a copy of that can be okay. Okie doke. And now we get another Doom's Death Nail Berserker, I'd say. With three Death Nail Berserkers, playing this Gold Vein pick is looking pretty appealing. It's pretty cheap to activate. Then we might even get this other one back. The Herald Wield, yeah, pick two. Wow, Battle of Frost and Fire, that's nutty. Okay, so there's a pup here, but I don't think we're really a pup deck. There's another Frostbite. We have one, two, three, four removal spells. We'd probably rather have Yarl than Frostbite, to be quite honest. I'm going to take the Jarl here over Frostbite. Let's me attack in with my derpy guys. He'll finish off their creature post-combat. Okay. Now we get to see how many of a creature type we have. Ten Berserkers. That's good enough for me. Hello, Bloodline Pretender. Welcome. I'm glad you're enjoying the stuff, Danny Boostra.
Thank you so much, Nanners, for the subscription. Thanks for sharing that prime. Wow. Look how good this pack is for me. There's Ravager, Bolt, and Helm. but And there's also Demonic Gifts. All these cards would have been so good. Maybe Gifts will wheel. Oh, this is not likely to wheel anything I want. Last pick is our kind of probably Wither Crown and Vault Robber, unfortunately. So maybe one of the other cards that I want. But Ravager is just too good to pass up with all my Berserkers. Uh, I'll take the Carve. I'm not going to play it, but I'm not going to play a pet either. Um, do I have any boasts? I have two Firewalkers. This thing, oh, not that one. Uh, this thing's not making the cut. I'm not sure what's making the cut, honestly. There's another Death Knell Berserker. Another Immersturm. Um, I'm just going to take Death Knell. There's also a Carful Kennel Master, another one of those guys. I think I might get another Dwarven Reinforcement somewhere else. I'm just going to keep taking Carfuls. I have three of those guys. I'm not going to play this squash, but I'll take it. And there's another golden pick. I'm going to play two picks with four Berserkers. And a decent number of top end cards. I need, I'd rather have a three drop than a four drop, I think. I have one, two, three, four. I'll take a fifth three drop, I think. And I have one, two, three, four. Five. I don't need Craven Hulks here. There's two lands here. Oh yes, demonic gifts get coming to my deck. Okay, with two demonic gifts, I probably don't need these picks anymore, which is nice. Not gonna play those. Double gifts for Berserkers is a fine balance. Raise the Dragger in my Berserker deck. 13 Berserkers, yeah. We're in good shape there. So I kind of like this guy in the deck. It works really well with the Death Knells. So that's like three cards that synergize with it. And this card's pretty sweet. We have for removal this. We can probably cut the Draugr. And along with it, the Mountains. Um, because we don't have enough snow things to enable frostbite. Hmm. So I need two more cuts. I have one, two, three, four, five, six removal spells, kind of. And these two combat tricks, which are really nice in the deck. Honestly, this Elder Fang Disciple doesn't really have a home here. It doesn't really help me attack. It doesn't really help me with my Berserker plan. It's just kind of not on theme in the aggro deck here. And I already kind of want to be using my gifts on my Berserker, on my Death Knells. So maybe I cut the Elder Fang Disciple. I do think Raise the Dragger is good because I can get back like two Kennel Masters in the late game or... Um, and then maybe I cut Breakneck Berserker. I could also... I think this is definitely a 17 land deck because I have three 5 drops and a 6 drop. I have... This is also a 4 drop. Keep that in mind. Hmm. And then I have one Raise the Dragger for grindier matchups. Mm hmm. It's pretty looking pretty good here. I maybe want another three, but I have decent stuff to do in the early game. I have these two things and this guy to pump the two drops, so I've got a couple of ways. I could try out a gold vein pick. I would just have to figure out what to cut for it.
And I guess Tuskary Firewalker does like the extra treasure running lying around. This card's also really good with the Kennel Master. I just have so many playables all the time. That's why I don't mind t speculating on Snowlands a lot of the time, is because I just always have so many playables. Hmm. How many creatures do I have here? 14 creatures, but these are also creatures. Hmm. Whoa, Gahitsu, thank you so much. Make Rakdos proud. Yeah, we're going to run it like this for the starters. Yeah, we're going to run it like this. We're going to try this build. Make Rakdos proud. Make Rakdos proud. Got to do it. But yeah, we're going to try this out, and I'll see you folks in the matches. Before I get to the matches, I want to give a huge shout out to all of the patrons who support me over at patreon.com slash Nikolai Bolas, especially those who support me at the credits level. I really do appreciate the support, and it is thanks to the support of patrons that I'm able to continue producing high quality videos on a consistent basis. Even those who pledge just a single dollar a month really do help me out. And all patrons gain access to my card by card grade spreadsheet for call time, so you get that nice little resource no matter what level of patron you are, and then you can get access to other cool things at higher tiers. But Without further ado, let's get to the matches. Welcome to round one. We have our classic combo here Death Knell and Demonic Gifts. Yeah, Suja, that's kind of what we're doing right now. Oh my gosh, the dream. There's a lot of min mini synergies in my deck. We'll have to see how good this combo is. I think it's pretty good. It's not really a mind game. If I only have two in play, they're not going to be afraid of anything. Well, not the most pressure. Maybe I need more three drops in the deck to help me curve out, but I think these things are really good together. What are they doing? Do they have a deal two to everything card? Oh, that's what they're doing. They're getting completely massacred. Ah, eh, Finn is not gonna help you, buddy. even if it's a 3-5. So they have to spend two to equip this. Oh, they're playing three colors. Oh, that's why they did nothing, because they're splashing green for a Rune of Might and a two-drop. Does come with risks. Oh, that's a bold strategy, Cotton. They're probably going to put another rune on it, like Rune of Speed or something. Sure. I'll block. Oh, they're living the rune lifestyle. Okay. Well. They managed to screw that up. They put it on the wrong card. They go block, block. I'm okay if this thing dies and I can kill that guy.
I'm fine trying to dig for a removal spell. Or another uh, copy of this guy, Kennel Master. Yeah, I wish they I had put this thing on there. It'd make it more of a competitive vibe here. Because I'm sure that's just a UI thing. It's hard to click on there. Crown. Oh, no. Well, good thing they have nothing in play right now. Hmm. Hopefully I don't hit demonic gifts off this. Oh my gosh, why? The humanity, my best card. Feels bad, man. I can't foretell. No! Hopefully they go Elder Fang Mentor, try to fight. No, they only have one green. Lol. The lols. Sure. I believe they are dead. Frostbite for the win! Firewalker is a beast. This is my first time really playing with it. But that thing just draws me an extra card, essentially. They were trying to do something cool. Any changes you want to make to the deck? Um, it played out pretty well. These cards were really good. I'm glad I have all of those in. I am missing three drops a little bit. And this is kind of a three drop when you play it and equip. Hmm. I'm just going to keep it up. Favorite red common creature? I don't know what else is in contention. I guess Pup is kind of cute, but other than that, I mean, they're all... The Tuscary Firewalker is a house at common. I think it's my favorite red common creature, too. I'm just thinking about the deck and whether or not we want equipment. I think just having a Tuju that occasionally will get me an extra zombie is fine. I don't have to be like, oh, I need to maximize this because I just like having the deck kind of straightforward here. And we're keeping. Two, three, four. I just don't think Breakneck Berserker is a very good card. Like, it's just not an inherently powerful effect. Take that, Battlefield Raptor. Might as well kill it now, because I'm going to have to kill it when it blanks my Dwarven Reinforcements anyway. Hmm, everyone's living that pick lifestyle. Time to punish them with our creatures. Is this what the kids call bolting the bird? Ah, uh, this is more known as biting the raptor. But I see what you're saying. I'm fine with this, and if he doesn't block, I'm also fine with it. I traded my 2-drop for essentially their 3-drop because they spent the extra mana to equip. Everyone's living this gold pick, gold vein pick lifestyle these days.
this life gain on it is kind of irritating. Oh, that's going to be good. We don't have any Renamux. We have two demonic things. Again, I'm pretty fine with this trade. So now, most of the things they play in white red are going to be small enough that I can demon bolt them even after they equip. And I have the odds of just going Carful, Tunnel Master, hit them for a bunch. Kennel Master, not Tunnel Master. The Master of the Tunnels. Oh, that's good for me. They've just spent three mana equipping this game and it hasn't helped them so far. Bum, 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 bum. Bada bum 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 bum. Wow, they're also playing Showdown of the Scalds. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh, they already played a land. Maybe? I don't even know. I guess they don't get the counter. Well, that was nice. I could have won this turn. I forgot this hits face. Oops. I messed up, chat. I'm sorry. I totally forgot that this can hit players. I could have bolted the bird. <laughs> that actually is bolting the bird. And then I could have played this targeting face. Hopefully we can still pull through and win here. Playing a forest in this deck. I think that should seal the deal. Got the win despite my misplay. Uh, it's a misplay I'm willing to forgive, though. That card has a lot of text. It's so good, though. Oh my gosh, I just realized that the... The giant thing also just does like six damage to my opponent randomly sometimes as some reach. That's so good. Any change they want to make to the deck. I've loved the Kennel Masters. They've been incredible. I'm glad I'm playing them as I said before. Doomscar Titan's going to be good with these Berserkers. This card's are just house. I mean, it's already really good, but hitting face is insane. We've just played against two of the same deck. And both of them were just kind of too slow to deal with what we were go we had going on. Maybe we should play... Eh, it's, it's too cutesy to play the other giant just so that we can raise the dragger back our other giant. Do we have any wizards in this deck? Because maybe we could get two wizards. I doubt it. Yeah, we're just going to be getting back two berserkers almost every time with our raise the dragger. Yeah, I usually do stop between games Disco Stolt, but I was I got some good feedback on people liked it when I talked about the stuff matches between the games. Um so I've been trying that out as well. So Oh yeah. Look at it go. The Death Knell Berserker, the demonic gifts. We're living the dream, chat. We are living the dream. Your niece says hello. Well hello to Kahitsu's niece. Welcome in. All are welcome. We just have fun here playing Magic. I don't know if your niece plays Magic Kahitsu, but I wouldn't be surprised. 
Keep the two twos coming. Funny hearing what after coming from the LR podcast. That I keep things simple here on the stream. You gotta teach the kiddos betrayal at an early age. Land? Aw, oh, feels bad. I was hoping to get a land and just play this normally, but we'll hit the land eventually. I would love to draw a swamp. Get out of my swamp. Bum ba dum bum ba da bum. Ba da bum 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 bum. Bum bum. Now more than ever a swamp is needed. That's not a swamp. I keep three lander, get punished. It happens to everyone though. <laughs> My deck is gonna be just fine. My eagle can handle losing. All for the glorification of your massive ego. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, his massive... It's a Seinfeld thing, I think. Oh, no. Well, these demonic gifts are looking a lot worse now, I'll tell you that much. Attack me, opponent. I'll double block. Just wait and see. You'll be sorry. Aw, oh, man. Well, you know how the song goes, chat. We got trouble. Oh my gosh, what? Well, do they have a snakeskin veil to back this thing up? Probably. Judging by the way this game has gone. Yep. But at least now they don't have snakeskin veil for my Feed the Serpent, where which I will top deck swamp. Yes, thank you. Hmm. This is a challenge. I think I want to kill this. And the next turn, I'll use all two for one myself because dwarven reinforcements doesn't work great with demonic gifts. But then I'll two for one myself there. I will say, this game did not go the way I was hoping it would. So then I demonic gifts. Three for one myself, two for one myself here. Or I take the hit for six, kill their realm walker. And then block. Oh, well, they've left me no choice. Doesn't work out great for me, but. I like getting a creature on board at the beginning, Sujav. I don't agree with foretelling on turn two when you have a two drop. Oh my gosh. We got a 4-4. Four, four. 
to block a master scald. Oh yeah. Come at me, Brohim. I was born ready for this. You think I won't fight you? You're a dwarf warrior, I'm a zombie berserker. We don't have much in common, but... Oh my gosh, why? Well, oh, the humanity. Just the top decks keep on coming. Coming round the bend. So I'm gonna have to flash this in to deal with their Realm Walker. Then hope to draw a land so I can use Basalt Ravager plus Demonic Gifts. We're at one. We can't beat them having another good spell here. We're alive. Imagine if they played a one toughness creature. Just do it, opponent. I so badly want this to work out. Sure. I can almost kill them next turn. I ping them, and then I play this guy and hit them for like 10. Come on, deck! You got this! I believe! <laughs> go, go, go! Oh, they have nothing. Wow, this is great. They're just dead next turn. Let's go. Wow, nice counter you got there, bud. That was impressive. Green White doesn't have haste creatures, so we're chilling. Are you kidding me? What? The rage. Oh my gosh. If I attack in with both, they eat this, I put them to two. Next turn, they attack me, I chump block. No, I, next turn I sacrifice the Ravager. I have two creatures, they have one. If they attack me, they're dead. I think I attack. And hope, and hope they top deck nothing. Hmm. If I don't do this, I lose this Doomscar Titan. They will then have this guy against my guy. Yeah, I'm just going to take the onboard win. If they top deck nothing, then I win next turn. That was a heck of a time to get a Lindworm, I'll tell you that much. Heck of a time for a Lindworm. They have to attack here. It'd be madness not to attack. This gives me raise the dragger as an immediate out. It's not good enough. It just ain't good enough. Wow, if this was any other creature, we would have won there. They have no idea how lucky they've gotten this game. Oh my gosh. I still have outs. No, I don't. Not anymore. Actually, I do. I just need to draw a creature now to block this best gear. 
Yes, we're still in it. Come on, race the dragger. You know you want to help me out. Be a chum deck. They've drawn perfectly all game. They've had like multiple... They've had multiple snakeskin veils to perfectly blow me out. They drew the Lindworm the one turn where it mattered. And now we're dead. Oh, <sighs> that was tough. That was real tough. Wow. Real tough the way that worked out. Huh. Got him down to two. They needed to top deck a creature. And then the following turn, because we drew Demon Bolt, they needed to draw exactly best gear shield mate to not die. But they hit best gear shield mate. They won the war on every level, Dark Slain. They also drew a couple more lands than me, which is why it was semi-close. But they just always had it. They had Snakeskin Veil when they needed it. That was just really random. They just always had the card they needed. Oh, this is a good hand. We almost got him, too. Two damage off. If we could have had a real creature to use our first demonic thing on, we would have maybe gotten him. I'm happy with how we played it. Ah, uh, good old Jarl. Format's been pretty fun. They changed their lands around. This is someone that knows their business. I can just hard cast the reinforcements. No need to rush things. We're chilling. Everyone is playing this these runes that today. Except the person that beat us. <laughs> That's ironic. Oh gosh. Turn we can Firewalker and Yarl, whatever they've got that's big. Hello, Axe Guard Cavalry. Cavalry as it is known in some far corners. Hmm. Hit me. Yes. The dark side is strong at this one. So then I just play Jarl and Tuscary. This could be a bounce spell for this one, maybe. Yep. Die, Carful Harbinger.
Now we have a couple of three twos that can trade with the axe guard. Yikes. Well, now we have another raise the dragger to get back some barbarians. My draft have been going well, Western Front. Maybe the barbarians are going to be coming back sooner than I might anticipate. Oh, this isn't a Berserker, that's a Barbarian. Okay, so this is my new plan. I can either Demon Bolt or Frostbite. This way they can't kill it on end step or something. Hmm. I like just being able to trade here. I could have played this and then been, had some stuff left up, but if I trade this I can get back my two cards with Raise the Driver. It feels like they haven't had many other creatures. This is working out badly. Gotta be said. This thing's going the distance. Right, that's really good, yeah. Jarl and Kettlemaster is a good synergy there. That's probably what I'll do. Oh. I think I got him right where I want him. Sure, let's do it. I could have gotten back to Scary, but I couldn't have played it anyway.
Did they say good game? I think they did. I'm probably dead. Jeez Louise. Feels like things have not been lining up particularly well these past two rounds, but that's how it goes sometimes. The two ones in particular were just getting bodied by that 4-3. I couldn't shock it in response to the equip, and after that it was lights out. Couldn't get past it. Three toughness creature, just so much toughness. Did I end up having to demon bolt it? What did I demon bolt? I demon bolted something that was good. Hmm. I like this hand. It doesn't have a swamp, but it can get there. Oh, the blue rare. Yeah, I had to demon bolt that thing. Frostbite not really performing, which isn't that surprising. When it only does two damage, it's not like a stellar card. Oh, Doomscar Giant's a nice top deck. Not great in the early developing stages of the game. Usher of the Fallen, eh? I'm just gonna do that. I can't, like, I don't want to trade this off for that. So that probably means they either just drew this or they just drew planes. Gosh, please don't lose the Forging the Tyrite Sword. Oh, I'm totally gonna lose to it. I didn't draw a land. I'm screwed. We're screwed! They're just going to go get Halvar with this thing. Oh my gosh, they're playing the runes deck again. What is up with this? They're playing three colors. And forging the Tyrite Sword. It's coming. They're going to get Goldvein pick. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, but I couldn't have cast Forging anyway, so. Block with the Elf, yes. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, Skippy. It all worked out. I think our deck is pretty good. I like our deck a lot. And I will say that it has felt like we have been struggling. Oh my gosh, they did get Halvar. Well, I guess I understand why they're playing Forging the Tyrite Sword. But I also understand why if they play Halvar, I can kill it. Oh, I'm in so much trouble. Oh, please top deck a land. Oh my gosh, what? They have multiple... Oh no. Land me? They have two different gods in their deck, both of which are unbeatable, pretty much. I don't know why they played this as Bergy. Oh my gosh, they have Halvar. I cannot beat this. If they play Halvar and equip it, though, I could feed the Serpent this and maybe maybe get there. I don't even know. Not drawing my lands is really hosing me once again. The problem with getting mana screwed here is that I then get flooded later when I need to be drawing action. Oh gosh. They've got all the gods. Forging the Tyrite Sword is making a lot more sense. Why they're playing green, not really making sense. Whew. 
Well. Oh, right, using that extra mana. But they don't have enough white mana to also cast this. But they can equip. No blocks. We can do it. I believe in us. Give me a land and my Doomscar Titan's coming for you. Gonna crush you and hit you for a bunch of damage. Yeah. If they played Halvar, they could have made this thing a double striker. And I would have taken five, four, five extra damage. I do not know what they're doing, really. If they lose this, it's pretty much on them. <laughs> Because they are off to a good start and my mana's not cooperating. Oh my gosh, we're doing it. There wasn't even a second where I doubted that this was going to be our play. It depends on what they have here. Do they have Iron Price or something? I don't know why they're... Like, what, which side of this are they going to use? Just block the Death Knell Berserker. You know you want to. Okay, they take eight. Da 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 do. If I draw another swamp, I can. Oh, struggle for Skemfar. Nice, nice. We're chilling. We're in trouble. So if I had drawn a land there, I would have been... Eh. Hmm. Hmm. I think I play this. And then I go for Raise the Draugr. We're in trouble. They're finally doing the play. Gosh. I need to land here real bad. They're out of gas. Well, I needed it to be not that land. Oh my gosh. Well, I can foretell this. If I draw a swamp, I could have. Oh my gosh, what? Could I get a break? What? What? What is happening? I will say this has not been my day when it comes to top decking what I need. Gosh, I, I have to kill Bergy now? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I could never hit my second black source until I'm just getting decimated by their, like, trample equipment. Oh my gosh. I'm just dead. I can't actually beat this card. I don't have any removal spells. I had my one removal spell, but I had to kill their other guy because they top decked trample. Wow. We went from 2-0 to 2-3, uh, and three, but those were just some variance losses. That was pretty unlucky in all three of those games that we lost. 
we stumbled on our mana in all of them. We still almost won that one, but they just drew our card. So I don't think this deck was bad by any means. And uh, I think that it's definitely a viable strategy. Like, look at this. We have 11 Berserkers, and these are Berserkers. So this Bloodline Pretender is a beast. Firewalker did some cool stuff. Our Demonic Gifts would have been good if we'd ever actually had enough swamps to use them. But that was a little bit rough. If you were watching this on YouTube and made it all the way to the end of the video, in the comment section down below, leave hashtag... Oh, man. I'm trying to think of a hashtag that's... Uh... What happened in our wins? Oh, hashtag equip. Uh, I don't even know. What's a, I'm trying to think of something that was a positive at, in this one, but there were so many negatives. It's hard to think of. Oh, hmm. Hashtag, hashtag 13 berserkers because we. I'm going to count these. So hashtag 13 berserkers to let me know you made it all the way to the end of the video. Remember to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment with questions or feedback. Check out the Twitch stream live at twitch.tv slash Nikolai Bolas. Check out my articles my and the Discord server linked in the description and pinned comment. And if you would like to support my videos, you can do so via the Patreon, patreon.com slash Nikolai Bolas. Uh, even for just a dollar a month, you gain access to my card-by-card -card grade spreadsheet for call time. And if you would also like to support me... Um, you, and you have Amazon Prime, then at no extra cost to you, you can subscribe to my Twitch channel via Twitch Prime. So just link those two accounts, subscribe to my channel, and it helps me out. That is going to do it for this draft video, though. I do hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you next time.